It doesn't take a pandemic or stay-at-home order to appreciate performing tire service at your own shop. When it comes to tire service, our go-to source for tire service tools and equipment is Gaither Tool Company. Our first Gaither tool was the Wintech Tire Dolly for rotating the tires on our Ram truck. We turned to Gaither Tool once again for the more safe jack, the most advanced bottle type air over hydraulic 20 ton capacity jack. Tire dismounting always begins with breaking the bead. The Gaither Bead Breaker is a quick and safe pneumatic solution for bead breaking. The other tire changing obstacle is seating the bead. The bead bazooka from Gaither is the blast of air that makes this task simple. To properly repair a tubeless tire requires spreading the tire sidewalls. This tire spreader from Gaither is the solution. Protecting the tire bead is important. Slickum and Super Slickum ease this work and protect tire beads. If your shop is tired of subletting balancing work, the GT12 One US is professional grade computer balancing for independent fleet, truck, and bus operators. This is also the ideal machine for light truck and 4x4 shops with limited floor space and the need for a portable precision balancer. Gaither's GTABB01 pneumatic bead breaker is designed to be used on agricultural, ATV, small OTR, and most truck tires. The tool includes a blow case for storage and requires a minimum of 85 psi or 6 bar air supply. Pneumatic force takes the effort out of this task. It works extremely fast, saves time over conventional hydraulic bead breakers. Its light weight, compared to conventional bead breakers, is only 17 pounds. Included is the blow case for storage. The air supply is a minimum of 85 psi. Most onboard air systems for off-roaders will make this air volume and pressure. Whether breaking down and changing tires in Mongolia on an overlanding adventure or changing commercial truck tires, this bead breaker will get the job done. The convenient blow molded case makes it easy to tote this bead breaker to the job site or campsite. Using the right tire changing lubricant can make a world of difference. Working with a properly lubricated tire not only makes the process easier, but it also helps to avoid damage to beads while mounting or breaking the bead. Gaither offers multiple tire lubricant options, including legendary Super Slickum. We won't mount or dismount tires without using these products. In the professional tire service industry, tools like the digital tire pressure gauge inflator offer all of the quality and dependability expected from Gaither. This is a sleek and compact form. It delivers pinpoint accurate pressure readings via a digital backlit display that is easy to read in any environment, including alongside a trail. Its durable design means that it can stand up to whatever conditions you throw at it. The Gaither Click and Go Valve Core Tool mechanically locks the valve core in place so valve cores don't get blown across the shop when deflating a tire. This makes it much easier to install a core and there's no magnet, so there's no chance of it interfering with TPMS. When hand mounting tires, you need a bead keeper. Gaither's bead keepers come in a variety of forms. This is the 12894CW, which is coated and made with extra wide openings. The best choice for alloy wheels. Tubeless tire repair requires a tire spreader. Place the tire spreader fingers between the tire beads. This heavy duty tool can use a half inch impact gun with an inch and a quarter or 32 millimeter socket to open the tire spreader fingers. You continue to spread the tire beads until there is sufficient airspace to repair the tire. Remove the tire spreader once the repair is complete. Like all other Gaither tools, this is professional grade equipment suitable for any shop. The Bead Bazooka is the most powerful tire bead seater tool in the world. It has a convenient trigger release and makes seating the bead on even the most stubborn tire effortless. Lighter, faster, safer, and more powerful, the Bead Bazooka is a must 
for anyone serious about tire service. By utilizing Gaither's special rapid air release valve, the user is able to release air much faster than any other bead seeders. This allows Gaither to make the bead bazooka much smaller while still delivering the bead seating performance you need. Forget about tourniquets. This is the right way to seat a bead when manually mounting tires. We had the option of a power wheel balancer and opted for this low maintenance, user-friendly product specially designed for truck wheels that is also well suited for buses, passenger cars, and light commercial vehicles. And in our case, 4x4s, SUVs, and off-road vehicles. This is economical to operate and requires very little space. The GT12 One US can be used in the workshop, but also can be used as a mobile unit. The operator simply rolls the Gaither GT12 One US mobile balancer near to the vehicle and balances the tire, which eliminates the need to move heavy wheels and tires into the shop. This is a manual, low-cost alternative that provides very accurate balance. The machine comes with five cones, ranging in center holes from 44 to 74 millimeter, 72 to 131 millimeter, 122 to 174 millimeter, 170 to 235 millimeter, and 275 to 284 millimeters. This accommodates wheels from automobile size to commercial class seven and eight over the road trucks. A weight pliers, width gauge, plastic spade for tape on weights, internal hexagon wrench for the two drive flanges, a quick nut to support the hub and wheel, a calibration weight of 100 grams, and a manual accompany the GT12 One US machine. The Gaither GT12 One US came ready to operate. The machine has every feature we needed, solidly built to withstand many years of rugged service. The GT12 One US was well suited for our shop. Like many service facilities, our shop has limited square footage that must be utilized properly. In order to do so, we needed to make the GT12 One US a maneuverable machine. The rugged frame of the GT12 One US has two easily gliding wheels at the back of the machine and small metal wheels at the front. These wheels work well for moving the unit on smooth surfaces. For turning tightly or negotiating irregular surfaces, users find it necessary to lift up on the spindle and flange. This raises the front of the frame off the floor. We elected to build a handle with our fabrication tools. Two and a half inch square 120 wall rectangular tubing and these brackets formed the cross brace. Holes were drilled in the frame, which was not easy to do with a frame made of high strength steel. Graded nut cert or rift nut inserts were used for the thread. The handle itself should look familiar. It's from a Wintech tire dolly. The weight at the front of the GT12 One US is substantial. Without triangular bracing, the handle would flex. Similar to the Wintech tire dolly, the handle is held onto the rectangular tubing with carriage bolts and wing nuts. The wing nuts are accessible from the bottom of the bracket, and this handle assembly can be quickly installed and removed. Important to the design of this handle and cross brace bracket is that the handle will not interfere with the large drive flange. When lifting up on the handle, the frame of the GT12 One US raises without interfering with the spindle or flange. At no time is pressure placed on the flange or spindle. Any size tire or rim can be hung on the hub without interfering with the brace. The brace can be left in place while the handle is removed. 